Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Mike Mendez. In 1995, the Crypt Keeper, host of the beloved HBO series Tales from the Crypt, made the leap onto the big screen and went Hollywood in a big way, as it went from being a television series to a full-on A-list studio movie. The result is one of the most fun, stylish, goriest, and crazy horror films to come out of the mid-90s. I'm talking, of course, of Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Universal Pictures is proud to present the motion picture directing debut of one of America's most talented and respected artists. Demon Knight follows the story of Breaker, played by William Sadler, a drifter who has been on the run for a long time. The forces of evil have been chasing him because he possesses an ancient relic, a key that literally can unlock the forces of evil and send our world into chaos. Breaker is being chased by a man known as the Collector, played by Billy Zane, who is literally bringing an army of hell for one last stand at a small bed and breakfast in the middle of nowhere. There's so many wonderful things I can say about this movie. Let's start with the performances. Across the board, it's a top-notch cast, from its stars to its supporting players. Jada Pinkett Smith, William Sadler, Billy Zane, future Academy Award nominee Thomas Hayden Church, Charles Fleischer, even genre legend Dick Miller round out the supporting cast. And everyone is giving it 100% completely, embracing the ghoulish fun. Billy Zane giving, in my opinion, one of the best performances he's ever given, as a demon hell-bent on getting that key. Billy Zane steals the show alone, but we get wonderfully slimy, diabolical demons surrounding him to boot. And there's tons of practical, gory effects brought to you by the great Todd Masters. This was still in the days where computer graphics were still in its infancy, so we get beautiful creature suits, demon puppets, exploding heads, and all the good stuff. And since the movie was backed by such Hollywood heavy hitters as Joel Silver, Richard Donner, Robert Zemeckis, all the gore and visual effects are done by the best in the business. Demon Knight is one of those rare A-list B-movies where its sensibilities are B-horror, but it's done with A-list polish. And of course, I have to mention fellow Trailers from Hell guru, the great Ernest Dickerson, who made his feature film debut with this movie. Previously a cinematographer for the likes of Spike Lee, Dickerson gleefully leaped into the director's chair and strapped his audience onto the camera and took us for a ride with innovative camera work and style cinematography. There would be two other Tales from the Crypt movies, Bordello of Blood and Ritual, but neither came close to capturing the magic of Demon Knight. 